Hey, this is Sam Black with my first match with uh, Aethergrid in Modern, and I seem to be a little blurry. I hope that fixes itself soon. Um, anyway, uh, I have a hand that I don't really think I can keep. Uh, this will work. Spend it, search for tomorrow. I'll play Scalding Tarn and pass. This is likely not a deck that I have the right interaction for. Get a Steam Vents. I guess my opponent does not seem to be playing a Valakut style deck as far as I can tell, so that's good. And Kiora is a card I can interact with usefully. I can go ahead and Lightning Bolt that. Yes. I'll play this, and I don't think I need to be able to research away the hanger back right now. I think I just want to get this out of the way. Alright, so my opponent appears to be playing a Planeswalker deck. Not a deck with planeswalkers, but a deck that is about planeswalkers. I think I want to keep loading up this hanger back. So I will ignore this Ajami for another turn. Timely reinforcements is fine. So I have to decide if I respect the Ajani ultimate, and I don't think I do. And I also don't think I'm super worried about these soldiers getting bigger, although that's kind of a thing. Um, okay, I could just perilous research away this hangar back right now to be able to fly in and attack Ajani, but I think it's better to not go that way. I just want to draw a card and power up the hanger back. Oh, that was stupid. I forgot that that was so bad. 
I forgot that that would turn off my mox oval, which meant that I couldn't power up the hangar back. I needed to tap the land to power up the hangar back and the opal to sack the thing. Oh well. I'll cast this for two. And attack a Johnny since this thing works much better before these soldiers get counters on them. Going for the avatar. All right, that is a big creature. I will try to not let it hit me. That's a good answer to this avatar. I will play it. And then I guess I'll just kill this avatar now so that I can attack with the trinket mage. certainly reached the point where it is time to fight the Planeswalkers. Um, well, this is all pretty good. Let's kill Elspeth, which will take a lightning bolt and two thopters. And then send the others at a Johnny. And the trinket mage at a Johnny. trading post. And I hadn't fully processed how great trading post is with Hanger Backwalker until I don't know, somewhere after I put it sometime after I put trading post in this deck. Um I think I want to sack a creature to return a creature, to return an artifact. This is sweet.
Alright, so now let's play this thing. Johnny with three of these thopters. is fine. The plus is good against being attacked by Thopters, but the grid will take care of it. Got a minus. Uh, you can have doubling season or the other stuff. Obviously takes doubling season. That's a little scary, but my opponent does have no hand. Alright, let's kill things. Um, well, this is very helpful but I don't know what to name. Which of these things has the scariest ultimate? It might just be this guy. in order to figure out where I'm at. Might as well kill Jace. I guess I could, yeah, I don't think there's a reason not to sack this hanger back. Oh, that was not the thing I meant to click. I wanted to attack with everything, but this is fine. I still get like half the damage. <laughs> um, I could do the trading fish thing again, but I'm just going to hold off. Sphinx's Revelation. Uh, I would really like to counter that, so I'm going to try to find an answer. Let's put a counter on this thing, cast Perilous Research, sack this thing, get some more of these guys, and 
then I still need to try to find an answer. So let's uh, sack an artifact to draw a card. It has to be exactly a stoic rebuttal because I don't have enough mana for cryptic. Oh, I forgot to ping for damage first. Oh well. Let's see how bad this is. Uh, you get an emblem with your opponent, can't cast non creature spells. Good beats. Alright, I won't do that. Alright, that wasn't so bad. So let's kill Narset. Might as well take out this tri builder. I just let it die. <laughs> And I guess that's all I got. Alright, Conid. Um, attack. Spells get into play. Cast a big hanger back. I mean, not super big or anything. Tough but fair. I think it looks like I didn't need any non-creature spells. Cryptic. Alright, maybe this wasn't the optimal way to play this, but... Gigadrivis. Interesting.
Let's see. One, two, three, four damage. Okay. Not lethal right now, but pretty close. Well, that was all pretty fun. My airbag trading post is a thing. Um, so I guess I want negate and deprive and I guess not blood moon. My opponent had a bunch of basic land search type stuff. Um, I think I actually want these static casters. My opponent had a bunch of tokens. I want dancers to doubling season. More needles is definitely good. Vassalus collar has a lot of potential. Uh, I don't need my I don't need my graveyard answer. Um, path seems pretty bad. Um, and I guess Spell Snare is not great. And I think I want Explosive to deal with tokens. I guess I don't need Pyrite Spell Bomb. Uh, I guess I want Aether Spell Bomb to be able to find to deal with the Johnny token again since I'm cutting paths. Um, I don't think I need spell skit. Alright, uh, let's try this. turn. So I'm fine just sitting. I think I want to counter this. I think 
could needle it, but my opponent's going to draw cards first, and so I don't want to have to. Fine to just play this stuff. I think I want to power this up at least once before I start attacking with it. I guess my opponent's low. Let's decide if it's fine this way. They drew my last island, so this doesn't get me anything. Sack the hanger back. And I think I want to negate Gideon. And I want to perilous research. Alright, I'll just sack the plumes. thing. I wonder if that means my deck needs more basics. Attack with these guys. And let's see, this gets me one more damage, which puts me up to I put it to seven, six, five, and then untap and kill. But if I just leave it as is, then I can put my opponent up to six and then untap and kill by playing an artifact. I think we're fine. Eh, no. I'll just cast this for zero. Token. 
I'd rather represent something. Ugh. Okay, well I can stop my opponent from gaining life by blowing this up to kill those things. That's good. It doesn't tap to sack, so... Oh, and this is going to kill my grid too. This is not going to go well. six minutes. I'm just going to concede this game. So that was tor really bad. Um, I think that my opponent is less likely to be able to cast that if I have Blood Moon in play. Definitely don't want my opponent to cast that. Maybe I can safely get rid of the Aether Spellbomb since I have explosives. And I'll just get one of these Wellsprings since apparently I have too much of that. Oh, cutting Wellspring and bringing in Blood Moon's a little weird. This is fine. so that I can stoke rebuttal if I have to. Way too much basic land searching, getting really punished for this blood moon. Tied to these tri-builders.
pretty sure I have to do this even though it lets my opponent resolve something. It's going to be like a supreme verdict to kill my colonnade. Pretty comfortable with that. My opponent has one card. so that I can sack it to Perilous Research. I guess I could just sack the Icker Wellspring, but... Huh. I'd probably rather sack the Icker Wellspring. It's close, though. Eh. Okay with that. this and kill my Acre Wellspring and my opponent's doubling season. Grid to begin the slow grind. Very little time on my clock. Fortunately, these lightning bolts can theoretically speed things up.
nope, 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 nope. Gotta keep stoic rebuttal up. This is another gust. Oh, no, this is a Sphinx's revelation. Alright, well, that's gonna make this tough. All damage by grid. Right. I guess I should have used it in response. That was bad. in a minute.
Search the address. Obviously should have let my opponent target before tapping stuff, but ain't nobody got time for that. No, I should have attacked. That's cool. twice, yuck. Yeah, you got it. So I'm going to time out. I think I might actually win this game if I had a little bit more time. Kill Kiora. Don't kill Interset. Untap. Static Caster. Kill Tri Builder. Let my opponent gain 8 life because I've given up on actually winning. it. And then Fracturing Ghost kills all my Thopters and gains a life. And then I have a negate against one card. And I have a Trinket Mage. Theoretically continue. I guess I have to ignore Elspeth. Because I can just ping the tokens. Ping the tokens. Attack Elspeth and time out. Alright, well, that was a fun match.